I'm just gonna apologize right off the top. I know I look like a hot mess today. Like I didn't even throw myself together a little bit to do this video. Like I didn't even rewash my hair or anything. Uh, been outside all day working on chicken fences and chicken runs, getting the chicken coop ready and nesting boxes, spending some time in the garden, just like a lot of things happening right now. But now I have to be in the house because my son's napping. So I'm gonna film this video for you guys and just throw it together really quick and a couple of weeks ago on my community tab here on YouTube, I asked you guys if you guys had any requests or any video ideas that you wanted to see heading into summer, just things like that. I like to do that every once in a while, so keep an eye on the community tab. And one of the requests that I got were just some summer meals. And I am showing you guys summer meals in like what's for dinner videos and breakfast, lunches. I filmed all of that this last week. Those videos are coming. Some of them are already up. I'll link some down below for you guys. But I figured it'd be a lot more efficient if I just rattled off a ton of ideas. That way maybe when you're planning your meal plan, you can come back to this video and just kind of listen to me ramble, write down what sounds good. And right off the top, I'm gonna make the disclaimer that in this video, I'm gonna mention the garden a lot. I'm gonna mention fresh fruits and vegetables a lot because that's what we rely on a lot. We put this huge garden in, it's gotten bigger and bigger every year. And we rely a ton on all those fresh vegetables and stuff that come out of the garden every single year we eat them while we're fresh and of course we do what we can or i do what i can i'm still learning i'm very uh beginner level when it comes to canning and preserving uh food in that kind of method but i have main items here like main dish items and a ton of sides that we like to do so i'm actually just going to break them down for you guys on main course and sides and give you guys some ideas on basically what we do in the summer months for uh mainly lunches and dinners of course, vegetables get thrown in in breakfast too and like scrambles and omelets and things like that. But basically what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is more lunches and dinners. We love to utilize the grill in the summertime mostly because we wanna be outside as much as possible anyways. Usually we're finishing up projects right now. We have a ton of outside projects going on right now. Garage is being built, chicken coop is expanding, like so many different things. So usually it's a lot more convenient for us if only myself or my husband will stop to throw some stuff on the grill and then the other one can still kind of continue working on the project while the other one cooks. It just is more seamless that way. For things we like to throw on the grill are obviously typical grill foods, burgers, brats, hot dogs. I like to jazz up my hot dogs with either like relish, make a Chicago style dog or chili cheese dogs. I always keep cans of chili down on my storage shelf for that reason. Love to do salmon patties in the summer. It's such a light, easy, fresh meal. It is so, so good. I think I've been making that meal for about a year. We love it in the summer. We also love to do fish fries in the summer. We love to get on the boat. My in-laws have a pontoon so it's great for all the grandkids we can all just kind of hop on the grandkids can still walk around and move around a little bit uh it's even big enough where you know they can have a section in the middle where they're playing with trucks and horses and toys and stuff uh some of them aren't really big enough to fish but the kids who are old enough to fish will also fish whatever we catch we'll go back and do uh like fresh fish fries with and that's one of our favorite things to do we only do it a couple times a year but i did want to mention it. blts is a huge one because we have lettuce in the garden this year for the first time it's successful they look beautiful i'm so excited to show you guys i am doing garden tours this summer and they look gorgeous so you'll see those obviously tomatoes coming out of the garden we buy our meat in bulk so we have a half a pig in the freezer tons of bacon still down there so it's basically a free meal especially if i'm making bread for our buns and things like that it's awesome another meal that i kind of learned i think maybe a year or so ago i actually saw this from our tribe of many she sarah from that channel threw this together and then i tried it because it looked really good it's just a carbonara it's just noodles you toss it in uh egg yolks which obviously we get from our chickens you can throw in fresh peas and parmesan and then a little bit of like leftover bacon or something like that it's so good you toss it and it tastes more like a smoky mac and cheese because of all the parmesan my kids love that meal it's so good it is not a meal that is good with leftovers i'm just going to say that it does not heat up well because the eggs will scramble so only make what you're going to make fresh but it is so good and slopping it up with some bread it's so yummy especially with fresh garden peas it's so good so i'll link if i remember i'm terrible at links you guys if you're new i'm terrible at links 
you guys always have to remind me in the comments you'd be like you said you were gonna link that you didn't link that i always feel so bad <laughs> if i remember i will link down below a carbonara recipe that i follow or i don't follow i loosely follow i just kind of use it as a roadmap we do grilled pizzas a lot i won't make my pizza dough and then grill it i always use something like a non bread typically we'll throw that on the grill and do some grilled pizzas tons of garden veggies that can go on top of that so good i do like to do kebabs because it's just so simple you just marinate meat in the fridge kind of all day or overnight go down to the garden pick whatever vegetables are in go ahead and throw those on the grill with your meat we like to make a little thing of rice along with our kebabs and we tend to make them deconstructed we'll just throw the meat in the bowl with the rice with some vegetables and stuff and we eat it more almost like a power bowl it's easier for my kids who are all six and under to eat it that way we love it utilizes the grill keeps the house cool we're not heating up the house by like turning on the stove or the oven or anything and it's so good that meal always makes leftovers we could eat off that for a week love to grill chicken because it's such a blank canvas you can put absolutely anything on it you can make a marinade you can do honey and soy you can do teriyaki you can do barbecue so many different things you can just do seasonings you can buy pre-made seasonings i have some here i'll share so i like to keep pre-made seasoning kits like this this might change is like i'm growing herbs and stuff i'll probably throw together my own spices but i'm pretty sure we got this from walmart in the grilling section um it's a uh, blue ribbon chicken seasoning we haven't used this a ton but it is pretty good i think it just got pushed back in the back of the spice cabinet we didn't see it i got this one from aldi it's a roasted garlic and herb this one's pretty decent once again it's not really our favorite so we haven't used it a ton but we do use it i actually got both of these for christmas my dad and his girlfriend went down to florida on vacation and they brought me back these i just know i really like chicken so i think they got it more as like a joke gift but it's i actually really enjoy them it's from big cock ranch and they're just special seasonings so you can read it because in case you have little kids in the room i'm not going to say anything that maybe you wouldn't say in front of your kids but they're just special chicken seasonings they taste really good and i don't even know if you could order these online or if you can find these anywhere but this is basically just a special blend of seasonings for meats and vegetables and seafood i have used this on shrimp before this one specifically it's the special blend really really good and this chicken blend i use more for uh actual proteins and meats and stuff i don't even really know how to describe these okay so ingredients salt onion powder garlic powder basil pepper paprika parsley uh celery oregano it's basically just like a ton of spices all in one so instead of having to pull a ton of stuff out of your spice cabinet you can just sprinkle this on there and it's all kind of pre-made and mixed for you it's really nice that's basically what any of these like pre-made spices are it's just kind of having everything in one bottle the other way we really like to do chicken is with a little bit of pizza sauce mozzarella cheese and pepperoni on top we can eat that as like a burger we'll do that with burger patties as well we call them pizza burgers or like pizza chicken sandwiches they are so good we'll also do like a grilled chicken parmesan with just like some pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese and we'll eat it over noodles or something that's really great as well we love to do fajitas because like i said we have so many bell peppers and stuff that are typically coming out of the garden and we like to eat them while they're fresh same thing with philly cheese steaks we have so many fresh vegetables coming out of the garden we like to do basically anything that we can throw those fresh veggies in i love to do pulled sandwiches in the crock pot because like i said the crock pot doesn't heat the entire house up like your oven or your stove would if you look on pinterest there are so many different pulled sandwich recipes like hawaiian chickens barbecue shredded chickens you could do chicken and gravy so many different things that you can just throw on a bun and it makes so many leftovers you could make extra on purpose for leftovers that way you can have them for lunches the next day or you can just make one big meal on a friday night like a pulled sandwich and then eat it all weekend long and not have to worry about lunches or anything like that i love to do that it's kind of just like an easy man's meal prep and we'll make pulled sandwiches out of a ton of different proteins chicken pork beef it really doesn't matter we love to do loaded subs and that's basically just like a cold sandwich basically like a sandwich that you get from subway we'll go down the garden everyone can kind of pick what they want we'll come back up to the house make our big sandwiches we'll eat that with like chips or you're going to hear me talk about how we will prep pasta salads on the weekends for the week ahead and we'll pair that with some pasta salad or corn in the cob or something we love to do chicken wraps we'll just 
take like leftover chicken that we already grilled, maybe some leftover bacon that's in the fridge and we'll do the bacon, chicken bacon ranch wraps. <laughs> Top them with veggies if we want pickles, we just wrap it in a tortilla and they're really good. I like to do this thing called a hobo dinner and it's basically I'll take a ton of stuff and put it in a tin foil wrap and we'll cook those over the grill or maybe over the campfire even. You can do them in the oven, but I really like to keep the house temperature down. We do have AC, but just something that I do out of habit. I, Me and my husband both grew up in single wide trailers, and if you've ever lived in one, you know how hot those things get. Neither one of us had AC growing up, so it's kind of just like a force of habit. You try not to heat the house up when you're cooking in the summer because it just took forever to cool down. Even though we have AC now, it's kind of just something that, it's like a habit that's hard to break. Fun fact, me and my husband almost always forget to turn on our AC in the summer because we've never had it. This is our first home that we've ever lived in that had AC, so it's almost like because we've never had it, you forget that you have it and that it's even an option to turn, to turn on. But we like to do these things where I'll shove like kielbasa, corn on the cob, potatoes, onions, peppers, throw them in a tinfoil ball with some butter and some seasonings and stuff and throw them out on the grill and they taste so good. Everyone can get their little package. You can eat it right out of the little tinfoil package. You can dump it out on a plate. It really doesn't matter, but they are so good. They're one of my favorite things. Moving on to sides. This is kind of anything that could go with absolutely anything. So let's start with all of those pasta salads. If you just type in pasta salads on Pinterest, you will find a ton of pasta salads. You don't have to stick to like macaroni salads or tuna salad or anything like that. You can get so creative, find so many different pasta salads and different things to make. So typically on like a Sunday, I will prep a huge bowl of pasta salad, put it in like a bowl like this or even something bigger than this, honestly, typically. And then it's prepped, it's in the fridge, and we'll just eat off of it all week. We'll pair it with all of our lunches. We'll pair it with dinners. It's just something that all we have to do is pull it out of the fridge and put it down on the kitchen table. And whoever wants it can take a scoop or two. If you don't want it, you don't have to. It's just one of those really easy things where it's sometimes all we have to do then is make like a vegetable and a protein because the starch is already prepped and ready to go in the fridge. Plus there's nothing better than when you've been down in the garden all day and just getting a cold bowl of pasta salad to just kind of cool everything down. It's so good. We always do corn on the cob because there are so many corn stands around where we live. We have one just like two miles down the road from our house. And because we go there so often, we live in a pretty small area, everybody knows everybody, we'll get a big like five gallon bucket full of them and that'll last us a really long time and then if I bought too much and it starts to go bad I will just shuck them and get them in the freezer and then we'll just eat it as I love nor sides they're just these little packets they just look like this they have so many different sides that you can do they have noodles and rice one my family likes the most is the chicken noodle one but you can like see on the back of the package here you can also just make this as your main dish and throw in proteins and vegetables and stuff and just make it almost like a one pot dinner if you really wanted to let's keep those on hand because the ingredients in them are not terrible for prepackaged food and they are so convenient just throw some chicken on the grill Get some of those in a pot of boiling water and you can have dinner done in like 15 minutes. Salads, I will make fresh salads usually at the same time I make that pasta salad. And we can just eat off the same pasta salad and the same salad salad all week long. I like to keep my salad preps very basic. That way I can switch up the salad if I want to and I can make it like a taco salad or a garden salad or like a Caesar salad and that way it doesn't feel like I'm eating the same salad all week long. I am definitely the one that eats the salad more than anybody else. So it's almost kind of like I'm just meal prepping for myself, but I love to have that option. We will almost always do baked potatoes because it's another thing me and my husband grew up eating a lot because it was really budget friendly. It's something that our family could afford and it didn't heat up our homes. And nothing goes better than with some grilled food than a loaded baked potato. And then we just make sure that we keep all the fixings in the house. Uh, sour cream, butter, cheese. I like to put salsa on top of my baked potatoes. Yeah. And then the last thing we'll do, we do for sides is fresh vegetables. Me and my husband both grew up eating like every dinner you had a meat, you had a starch, and you had a vegetable. It just was something that we both grew up on and we always make sure that our kids also have those options when we eat dinners. Like I said, ton of stuff coming out of the garden. So we can always do green beans out of the garden or snap peas. We can 
always do like a salad. Wheat corn is another huge thing we do. Corn on the cob, obviously. So tons of different sides that we do for vegetables. But there's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. It was a lot of information, just like a lot of spitballing. But I hope that this answered some of your questions, gave you guys some ideas on what we do in the summertime. And I will see you guys I've in the video. Lot Bye. Of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago